Hi. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, February 5th, and this is the first uh, video on um, It's Okay. It's the first segment on It's Okay. And so thank you for joining me, and I pray that, it will, that the series will be a blessing to you. Because I know when God revealed to me that it was okay uh, for me to not be perfect, for me to not get it right all the time for me not to have all the answers, that it was okay, that I was going to make mistakes, that I was going to fail, that I wasn't going to win all the time, that I was going to make some not so good decisions, maybe some dumb decisions, that I was going to do all of that in the midst of my salvation. That Not before, but even after I you know, was walking with God, it, it freed me to really explore the relationship to really dig deep and to allow God to see more than just, well, God sees all of us, but to allow me to explore more than just the surface of me with God. Does that make sense? Just only just the things that I thought God could could witness or be able to see. It opened me up to say God could see all of my good stuff, my bad stuff, my gritty stuff, my dirty stuff, and God would be okay, that it, that it was okay. That it was okay. So God wanted me to share it with you uh, in this series. It's okay. And so the first thing I want to share with you is it's okay to fail. It's okay to fail. You know, um, we spend, and I'm, I'm pulling them just to make sure my notes are here. Um, we spend a lot of time um, trying not to fail. We spend a lot of try time trying not to fail in marriage. Try not to fail in school, at work, um, on um, projects. Um, you know, um, yeah, try not to fail. You know, also, we spend a lot of time with people telling us that it's not okay to be ourselves. It's not okay to, to safely experience our feelings and our emotions. Um, it's not okay to love right where you are or to be loved right where you are. It's not okay that a child can struggle in school, you know, or a child may not want to go to college. It's not okay. And oh, well, it's okay. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's not okay has become the norm. You know, it's not okay to be yourself with God. It's not okay to... Take God with you in the wrong. It's not, it's always, it's not okay. But you know, God sees everything you do, everywhere you go. It, it, so it's okay. God can handle whatever you do. It's okay. Um, you know, and so we spend a lot of times not, not trying to fail. You, you, you know what I mean? Um, I, I don't want to fail at work. I don't want to fail at home. I don't want to fail at school. I don't want to fail in my relationship. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. I want, and so I think we put so much energy on not failing till we really don't explore things to the depth of, or allow things to go to the depth of where they can go. You know, instead of spending our time on doing the very best that we can do. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a slight paradigm shift. You know, if I'm spending my time on trying not to fail, then I'm trying to cover all, cover everything. I'm trying to make sure I dot every I. I'm trying to make sure I, I cross every T. I'm trying to make sure that I control everything and I manage everything. And, you know, it, nothing can get out of my sight because I got to make sure I don't fail. But when we understand that it's okay to fail, that that I'm, I may not get it right, that I may not be able to control this whole thing, that I... I may walk in the wrong direction. I, I may make the wrong decision and, and it's okay. It's okay if I fail. And so there's some, some people in the Bible that learned that and maybe they learned it, you know, like we're going to have to learn it by failing sometimes. See, for, first of all, we're, we're not in a perfect world and we, we don't live in a perfect system. And we're not perfect people. We're not. It, can I tell you, failing or not winning or not succeeding, however way it makes you feel better, is inherent in our 
world order or our system. Does that make sense? It's organic. You you know, like up is to down, like hot is to fire, uh, winning is to failing. You 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 you're gonna have both. Nobody wins all the time, and no one no one will fail all the time. Chance and opportunity happens to us all. And so, you know, that's why God talks to us about suffering and he talks to us about, uh, you know, uh, trials and tribulations. He talks to us about all that. And I don't think, you know, I think sometimes we think trials are only going to come because um, someone else brings those tribulations into our lives. But a lot of those trials and tribulations comes from our own thought process and our own decision making. The choices we made has brought these things in our lives. Now, there's times when other people make choices that impacts our lives. I agree with you, but I'm still saying we have to understand that it's okay to fail. Um, when I think about Peter, you know, and I'm gonna, I'm going to read, I'm going to focus on Peter a little bit. Peter in Matthew chapter 26, verses 31 through 35. When Peter just proclaimed, Lord, I'm not going to deny you. And Jesus said, listen, you're going to deny me three times. You're going to fail that test. And so uh, I want to read it for you so we can just, you know, capture it in the way it was written. It says, then Jesus told them, this very night you will all fall away on, um, on account of me. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. Truly, I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, even if I, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all of the other disciples said the same. Now you had 12 disciples there who said, we're going to die with you. And the same 12 disciples scattered. They failed the test. Peter even denied him, you know, strongly three times. But Jesus was saying, it's okay. You're going to fail. And it's okay. Because I'm going to redeem you. I'm going to pull you. I'm, you know, I'm going to make it all right. So, I just want you to know it's okay to fail. Peter's the same one. I want you to get this. Peter's the same one. Early on in Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 17, it says, and I'm going to share this with you. It says, when Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. He said, Peter, listen, right before that, he said, Peter, up upon your kind of faith, and revelation from God, I'm going to build my church. And then Peter went on to deny him. So I, I need you to understand it's okay to fail. You'll never understand or know what it is to win until you fail. You will never be able to um, grow to the fullest capacity of where you need to grow until you fail and understand that you are not where you need to be or you have not learned what you really need to learn to be able to succeed where you want to succeed. So God wanted me to tell you today, it's okay to fail. It is. It's what you do in response to that. Do you allow God to come in and show you, you know, how to succeed, what's next, how to move forward? Because that's what God did for Peter. He came back and he said, Peter, do you love me? He gave Peter, Peter said, yes, Lord. Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord. Peter, do you love me? Peter's like, you know I love you. He said, and Peter, feed my sheep. You want to redeem yourself? You want to pass the test? Go out and feed my sheep. Go out and do it. So I want to tell you today, it's okay to fail. God wanted me to tell you, quit spending all your days trying not to fail. And spend your days 
doing your best, following God, and understanding that all things work together, truly, for the good of those who love the Lord and that are called according to his purposes, even the areas where you fail. Much love, Keita.